Howdy folks, it is Thursday, April 20th. The time right now is 10.07 p.m. and it's about 29 degrees Celsius here in Pattaya, Thailand. And this is Pattaya Avenue, a large shopping complex. One that seems particularly ravaged by the pandemic. Although they've got a nice little market set up here. And one of these neat cocktail trucks. But for this one, I'll be heading along second road here over to a street called 13-2 and then I'll be making my way to Beach Road and then walking over to the famous or rather infamous Walking Street and Walking Street only takes about 10 minutes or so to walk across and I was just having a drink with David from Kix TV and he knows the area well and he suggested I start at Avenue and then make my way over to 13-2 Although this street looks kind of interesting, let's just take this one. This is... I don't know. There's one of those famous Pattaya beer bars. So I'll take this one, whatever it is. I'm far from an expert on this area. Down to Beach Road, and I know my way well from there. And how nice it is to be able to walk around Pattaya and not get covered in water. Songkran ended yesterday. This is actually my second last night here. I didn't want to find myself running out and make, making any videos on my last night. So I wanted to get out and do this one. And I'm going to call it an early night tomorrow. Although after this one, I'll be meeting David and Jeff and possibly a few others. The street <laughs> certainly has a bit of a red light vibe to it. It's the Jungle Hall of Rock and Roll on the right. I think we're just going to go to a pub or something along those lines. I don't want to have a crazy night tonight either. I've still got a fair bit of editing and work to do tomorrow. Hello. <laughs> Lucky finger <laughs> massage. Some of the names of businesses here are quite hilarious. And this is Beach Road right ahead. And as the name implies, the beach is just on the other side, although maybe I'll walk on this side for a bit. It's a bit more interesting. The Kana Queen looks like a cannabis cafe. Cannabis is legal here now. So I think we're maybe six or seven minutes away from Beach Road, or rather, Walking Street. Oh, 
That guy was hanging out at Avenue where I started this. It seems like I'm past the Hooters where we hung out the other day. There was a YouTuber meet going on. It seemed like everyone at the table was live streaming except me. But Walking Street is one of the big tourist attractions here. classified as an entertainment district. All right, let's cross the street in a minute. Speaking of tourist attractions, there's a Ripley's Believe It or Not. And these bot buses can go quite slow along here. This is a proper crossing on that. And we are on the beach side of Beach Road. Yesterday, this was close to traffic. And it was pretty much an all day and all night party. First time I ever came here, I made a walk along here just to see what it was all about. And that was one of, if not the last time I ever made a night walk along here. And the reason for that is I got pickpocketed. I was kind of drunk. And someone came up and bear hugged me. And they were being all jovial. And they ran away giggling. And I realized I didn't have my wallet on me. Well, I didn't lose that much. I was on my way home anyway. And I think it's mostly locals hanging out on the beach. I don't really want to venture onto the sand. I cut my feet up yesterday when I got sand in my sandals. <laughs> certainly interesting and yes I think some of the people standing around are what you think they are and apparently the police do sweeps up here and everyone kind of scurries off and runs away but apparently that's just for appearances as they all come back out from hiding that's what some of the locals told me the other day And on this particular trip, this is my only time out this way. The famous Pattaya sign is off in that direction there. And there's the beer garden. That's a neat pub that overlooks the ocean.
And, oh boy, I am hot. So this is pretty much the entrance to the famous walking street. You'll often see tourist groups parading up and down it. You'll even see parents with their kids, which I don't really think I agree with. And you might see why in a few moments. And yeah, traffic always bottlenecks here. Entrance to the beer garden. If I'm not mistaken. I don't want to yell to the mic too loud, but I thought there used to be a Muay Thai boxing ring in that complex. My first stand only look this trip at the infamous walking streets. It might seem like it's been here forever, but it only came to be in 2010. And it is close to traffic, I think between 7 p.m. and 3 a.m. How much is that? Five, five ball, one hundred. Yeah. Can you film me? <laughs> no, hold, hold camera that way. Uh oh. Just pointing at me. <laughs> okay, I wait till I go. Wait, no, I'll hold it when my turn. I'll give to you, okay? Just point at me. From where? Here? Here?
Thank you. Well, that was fun. That girl saw my camera and covered her face. They were very used to people walking along the street filming. So there's a mix of bars and go go bars and beer bars and restaurants and convenience stores. It certainly seems to be a bit tamer than I remember it, although yesterday was a holiday. That might have wiped some people out. Oh, there's an ice cold bar, the ice room, 11 degrees. And that's a Russian. Club, I believe. Moulin Rouge. So I paid about four bucks to partake in that dunk tank action. There's also some what they call discos here. It really just means club. This one is Lucifer. There's a really popular one called Insomnia that I've actually been to before. And I wonder if Marine Disco is still here. That one has a Muay Thai ring. So apparently everything on the right side is actually built on military owned land. As it backs onto the waterfront. And there was talk of tearing down that path and rebuilding Walking Street. Oh, here it is. So you can get in there and spar with one of these guys if you want. And they, they work for tips. And often they'll kind of have choreographed and coordinated knockouts just to make it look really spectacular to get tips, but you're not seeing real Muay Thai here at all. You're just seeing guys sparring with one another. Hello. Well, thank you. But if you go there, do tip them. They're still very entertaining. Oh, 
didn't get hit. I don't think I could show the contents of that poster <laughs> on this channel. I'm sure you've heard of the infamous ping pong ball shows. That's what she was advertising. going on over here? Maybe someone famous? We have a pizza there for 99 baht. Oh, there's insomnia. This end of Walking Street just kind of peters off. I think there's a lot of Indian establishments on this end. And a Mickey D's. Based on what I remember, it hasn't fully bounced back. It might be the time of night, it might be the fact that yesterday was the big holiday. But that is it. You can continue in this direction and head over to the pier. And if you were to take a, a ferry to Kowan, that would be the way to go. But I hope you enjoyed this walk around Second Road down Asoy, I don't know, to Beach Road, then over to the famous or infamous Walking Street. And there is no famous Walking Street sign on this end. So let me know your thoughts and comments down below. If you wish to support the channel, there's links to my Patreon and YouTube channel membership down in the description. And I have an Instagram account at Johnny Strides.
And that's about it, folks. I might go back to the hotel and change and hope those guys are hanging out in that area. I don't really feel like staying around here. Far from the hotel, and I'm already in need of a fresh change of clothes. It is hot here. As well as if you've been here before, I'm curious as to what your thoughts and comments are as well. Anywho, thanks for watching, and I shall catch you in the next one. Yoink!